Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer. Today on our 2009 Chevrolet Silverado, we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install the draw tight trailer hitch receiver. So in my opinion, this is going to be a good all around hitch. It's not going to be super heavy duty or lightweight. And a lot of my friends and family, people that I know that have Silverados, that tends to be what they use their trucks for, work and a little bit of play. So this is going to allow you to haul around that work trailer, maybe even carry an accessory, or maybe even on the weekend, take your boat down to the river or your dirt bikes to the trails. But with that being said, it's gonna work real good for that. And it's even going to have a pre-attached bracket here, which is convenient if you need to hook up some different type of wiring or wiring in general. If your truck doesn't have it, it gives you a good spot to put it. Now, since these Silverados are really versatile, and they are built to handle quite a bit of weight. If you do plan on doing some really heavy duty towing, I would recommend picking up a class five hitch that's built for it too. And you can find that here at eTrailer. But with that being said, this hitch is a class three. So we're gonna have that two inch by two inch receiver tube opening and a reinforced collar for extra strength. In my opinion, I think it makes the hitch look a little bit more complete too. It's going to have a standard 5.8 size pinhole. Now keep in mind, a pin and clip does not come included, but if you need one, you can find it here at eTrailer. We're also going to have a smaller hole in front of our pinhole, and that's going to allow us to use what they call a J-pin. That J-pin is going to eliminate any slop or play in your connection point when you have an accessory plugged in back here, just to help keep it a little more sturdy and secure. The safety chain openings are going to be really large out of all the hitches. These are probably my favorite. Really big. They won't interfere at all with your pen and clip and you should use just about any size hook that you might have without any issues. As far as the hitch's weight capacities go, it's going to have a 600 pound maximum gross tongue weight rating. So that's going to be the amount of weight pushing down on the hitch. So that's more than enough to use just about any cargo carrier, bike rack, whatever accessory you might want to use. As far as the maximum gross trailer weight rating goes, it's going to be 6,000 pounds. And so that's going to be the amount of weight that's pulling on the hitch. So that's the weight of your trailer plus anything that you might have on it. This can be used with the weight distribution system, which is a separate component. But if you are using that, the weight capacities do increase a little bit. The maximum gross tongue weight rating goes up to 800 pounds, but the maximum gross trailer weight rating increases to 8,000 pounds. I do want to point out, it's never a bad idea to check with your truck's owner's manual to make sure your Silverado can pull that much weight safely. Now I'm going to give you a couple of measurements and you're going to use these to help figure out which hitch mounted accessories to get. From the ground to the top and side edge of the receiver tube opening, it's going to be about 20 inches. So you're going to use that to help figure out whether you need to get a ball mount with either a drop or a rise. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the edge of our rear bumper, that's going to be about three inches. And you're going to use that measurement to help figure out that if any folding accessories you might have can be stored in the upright position without contacting the bumper. So at the end of the day, a good all around hitch. Whether you're going to throw an accessory on back here, pull a utility trailer, or maybe even a race car to the track, you're going to be able to do that without any issues. Now, as far as the installation goes, it's really not all that bad. It shouldn't take you a whole lot of time. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and do that together now. To begin our install, we're going to be underneath of our truck. And what we can do, if you want to, it'll give you some more room, is temporarily lower and remove your spare tire. In our case, I did try to lower it and our mechanism is broke. So I don't want to risk forcing it down and not being able to put it back up but that's okay because we are still able to work around it. What we're gonna do first is remove a factory bolt on each side of our frame rail. And we'll use a 21 millimeter socket to do that. I wanna mention from this point on, anything we do to one side of the truck, we're also gonna to do to the other side because it'll be set up the same way. We wanna make sure to hold on to these bolts because we are gonna be reinstalling them. We're gonna have a total of three attachment points on each side of our truck. We're going to be using this hole as well as this one and the factory well nut here where we just took our bolt out from. What we're going to put in these two attachment points 
is a carriage bolt and a spacer block. So we'll set that up like that. Then just drop it down from inside of our frame. Once we get our hitch up, we're gonna take our factory bolt and reinstall it. Now we can go ahead and take our hitch and raise it into position. And once we have the hitch lined up, take our factory bolt, get this started hand tight on each side. That way the hitch will support itself while we work on the rest of our hardware. Our other two bolts are gonna get a conical tooth washer. Make sure that the teeth on the washer are facing up towards the hitch. I like to do this, kind of put a little side pressure on the bolt to help keep it steady. We're just gonna take a hex nut and get these started as well. Now that we have all of our hardware in, we can tighten it all down. Now we can take our torque wrench and tighten everything down to the amount specified in the instructions. And that'll finish up our look at and our installation of the draw tight trailer hitch receiver on our 2009 Chevy Silverado.